Welcome back to another video, guys. We are here at Bergen County Harley Davidson. We just rolled out some brand new 2023. So today we're gonna be reviewing this 2023 street light right here in this two-tone color. Absolutely beautiful. Got my main man, Sergio, right here in the back. What's up, guys? Uh, Sergio's been busy because these bikes have been rolling in since last week. Got a shipment last week. We got more this week and, and some. Eight, eight last week and then 18 yesterday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we should be launching our new model. Sheesh. All right, so Wednesday, you want to plug that in right now? Yeah, so on Wednesday here at the dealership, we're going to live stream all of Harley Davidson's new 2023 models that are coming out. So right now, we only have 2023 new color schemes. So um, we're going to see some new stuff coming out. So make sure you um, register and sign up for it to watch it or come down and hang out with us. We're going to watch TV it live go. here. We're going to watch it live here, and then they're going to be broadcasting it everywhere. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got the industrial yellow two-toned with the black right here which looks absolutely amazing um right in between to split the black and the yellow you're gonna have that nice thin strip of red which up close you gotta look at it probably can't see it in the pictures or videos but it looks really really nice um my bike i have a 21 road glide red um and black also two-tone but mine has a, an orange split line right there uh, but red in person looks really 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 nice obviously this being the street glide has that bat wing fairing being fork mounted so for you guys who are getting to Harley and don't know the difference between the road glide and street glide street glide is fork mounted so obviously when you turn the wheel the fairing turns with you as opposed to the road glide which is frame mounted the, the fairing stays still when you turn your wheel um, working our way down to the front we got that blacked out prodigy wheel Looks really, really nice. We'll give you guys a nice little close-up of that right now. But I absolutely love this design. The wheel is beautiful. It, it looks like an aftermarket wheel you would get. And um, I just really like the design on that wheel right there. Um, obviously, this being the blacked out version, this two-tone color, you can only get it with the blacked out components. You cannot get it chromed out. Um, so you only have one option with that. That being said, everything is gonna be all blacked out. You're gonna have your black crash bar in the front, your black exhaust, and then your black rocker heads on top. Everything's just murdered out. It looks really, really nice. Um, I think that was the right choice. I think chrome would have looked a little bit funny with the yellow and the black. Um, so good choice on their end. Um, being a two up seat, this bike comes ready for two up for you and your passenger. So you're gonna have your seat right here, some space right there for your passenger ready up ahead with your passenger pegs there as well so that is a plus we added a couple features to this just so you know so this did not come with the led front headlights or um lights and the back lights turn signal turn signal so the front turn signals are led the back turn signals are led we added the docking hardware so just a couple things that are a little bit easier when the when the guy gets the bike the girl um they're on there and ready to go ready so it's pretty cool that's awesome it needed wow. it yeah, the, the, it should have came with it. The, those, those are little things that Harley Davidson was still not doing LEDs for 2023. But you would think they were on it, <laughs> but as soon as they came in, we knew that we needed to add them. I know. So that's, yeah, there you guys know. For 2023, still no LEDs. Um, being the special, we're going to have stretched bags. We're not going to have the short bags, which I'll just compare it to another uh, bike in a few minutes. But you're going to have that stretch bag look, same bags as on my bike. Um, you're going to get stretch bags on all specials what do you think about it in person so i actually thought um it was going to have that sparkle to it like all the other bikes do this one doesn't so it is that solid yellow um which i think is a little bit nicer because it brings back like that old school look that we haven't had in a while it does. so I, I like it a lot where like when you look at this bike you can see the sparkle in it you don't have that so this is your yellow Probably. this this one here is prospect gold um, Flake. <laughs> yeah with, with flakes in it yeah. so it looks really good uh, but it's just something about this bike where it just stands out. Standing right next to it, it kind of takes um, a bit of that shine away from this bike. I believe it kind of just drowns it out because this is just so dark compared to that one. Um, but I'm pretty sure if this bike wasn't next to this one, it just pop out a bit more, even though it's yellow and it looks like a bumblebee, but it's amazing. Um, this, is the, this is probably the bike that I would probably get for 2023, honestly speaking. Um, this is, as soon as I saw the pictures, on line I, I immediately went to this one and i fell in love with it i, I just think the the two-tone looks amazing i just love the paint scheme definitely stands out a lot now you are going to have those nice saddlebags in the back which are going to unlock 
Um, and very, uh, they're very easy to take off as well. So anytime you want to clean your bike, wash your bike really good. These come off nice and easy. Just to give you guys a look of what I look like on the bike. Um, around 5'7", so I'm almost able to flat foot this bike. After you do suspension, if, if you choose to go that route, the bike will get lifted up, so you'll have a bit of an issue if you're on the shorter end like I am. Um, but for now, me sitting stock on this bike, I'm almost able to flat foot it and I'm wearing pants as well. So if I was wearing boots, I'd definitely be able to flat foot it and feel very, very comfortable. Um, when it comes to controls, nothing has changed for 2023. Same controls as last year and the previous years before. This bike does also come with cruise control. You're gonna have that infotainment system there in the front, which you're gonna have access to your navigation, um, tire pressure, uh, your music, audio, just all the good electronic stuff that that bike comes with is gonna be linked up on there in the front. Nice, easy access right in front of you. Um, that is gonna be out of sight for you. That's the thing I really like about street glides is that everything's right in your face. Um, while the, the road glide is kind of, you feel like you're really, really far away from the fairing. Um, this looks and feels good. Now for 2023, no, we did not get any big, huge surprises. Um, we still have the 114 on here on all special models. The 107 is still available for the standard, um, but the 114 is what you're gonna have on this bike. You're also gonna have dual disc front brakes in the front. Uh, most bikes, if the dealers order them, they are coming with the RDRS system, um, and it's a system that you really want to have on your bike. So make sure if you're out shopping, your bike has that. Um, I have that on my bike. It saves me a few times already, especially when you're out there in the rain. Um, so you have rain, rain mode, um, hill assist. You have that um, front and rear link braking as well, which helps out a lot. Anytime you're applying too much pressure, either to the front or the back brake, it does it automatically where it kind of just balances everything out for you and none of the wheels lock up as well. I mean, it does have uh, anti-lock system, but it's a huge, huge, huge help. So this being a bagger, it's obviously a much heavier bike than what you would uh, be used to. So this bike comes in around 827 pounds. Um, once you're out there on the road, it is really, really easy to move with the bike. If you're gonna be moving around your garage, it, it might be a, a big of a little headache for you to move it around. Um, but once the bike is running, it's really easy to maneuver. You're gonna have that six gallon gas tank right here as well. So plenty, plenty of space for those long commutes, those long trips, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people get these bikes is um, once we start playing these long rides cross country or going in and out of state lines, um, this is definitely the type of bike that you wanna do it on. You're gonna be really comfortable on it. Um, and you're gonna have the longevity of having six gallons on there instead of stopping frequently if you had a three gallon gas tank or 3.5 gallon gas tank. So you definitely keep getting more and enjoy your ride on here a lot more. Obviously you're gonna have your audio system here. So this one, you're gonna have some speakers right there in the front. If you were to get the CBO or if you just wanna go um, get some parts from the Hardy catalog, you are able to add more speakers in the back as well there, which is a plus, which I am in the market at the moment. I might be doing to my bike. Um, That's what I have. Yeah? I want to put, put the pads on the bike with speakers in it. You want to what? I want to add that to my bike. You want to add more speakers on I it? I just want to add speakers to the whole thing. Oh, yeah? Imagine. Wait, so you're going to get a street light? Well, I don't know. I'm riding out to the 120 in Milwaukee, so I don't know if that Dyna's going to make it. This is, it, this is the it, year. It, it, it'll make it, but I don't know if you're back well. <laughs> <laughs> you are also going to have your USB plug right here. So once you press that button, everything pops out. Um, you got to be able to put, to kind of, I mean, you could take this out and stick your phone in there. Um, that's why I kind of, when it comes to the infotainment system, I do like the road glide because you do get those two side pockets there for you to throw in your phone or anything you want to uh, put in there. If in the event you do run out of space on these bags, which it's pretty hard to do but they're pretty spacious. But you're gonna have your, your USB system there. You can plug in your phone or charge any of your other devices while you're on the road. This being the street lab, you're also gonna have floorboards on the bottom. So really, really comfortable. What I have been seeing in a buddy of mine, um, Duffy, he went ahead, he got rid of his floorboards and he got mids for uh, his road glide. So they're just like regular small make, uh, mids. They, Are they, they comfortable? They, and they are comfortable. Really? Yeah, so it, it, it's basically the length of this uh, brake pedal here, and it's just like you being on a smaller bike. Wow. Yeah, so it's it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, being Harley, there's a bunch of custom mages out there. Everyone makes their bike look a bit different than others. Um, 
that, that those are probably one of the pros of you buying yourself a Harley, guys. Um, I don't know if some of you guys, you Harley guys right now looking at me like, yeah, well, we know that, but a lot of people watching this video right now are actually getting into the company and they want to learn more about these bikes and about the culture as well. The turn signals make such a big difference. Um, you can see just how bright it is. It actually gives it a really good look. It does. It does. It looks really nice. You want to put the high beam on the daymaker? Nice. And then the turn signals, they cancel out. So let's talk about the most important thing, obviously, uh, price point. So the street glide, the base street glide comes priced in at $27,999. Now you're also going to have an option because if you, that, that's with Chrome. So $27,999, that's with the Vivid Black chromed out, that's $27,999. If you want Vivid Black but in the black or blacked out option murdered out that's gonna be an additional thousand dollars so just it's gonna cost you a thousand dollars just to have all your components blacked out which is cheaper than you having the powder coat at all you're right about so that so at the end of the day done. it's professionally done it's factory and it's gonna look amazing yeah. um you know because we've always had that conversation well why is it more well if you want to make it black it's gonna cost you a lot, a lot more, more than that yeah now if you did one in a, a different color uh, it's gonna be an additional seven hundred dollars you want the uh, different color. If you want the two-tone color here, that's gonna be additional $1,200. So this one here, obviously, base points $27.99, thousand bucks you're adding for all the blacked out, and then another $1,200 for the two-tone, it adds up, um, you can do the math. But there's different scenarios, it's a little confusing, but uh, at least there's a, Harley's given us a lot of different options on how to get these bikes. You know, so you have an option to have it chromed out, Chrome is coming back. My bike is chromed out. Um, <laughs> uh, also blacked out and the different colors as well. Um, if you want this two-tone color, it's only gonna, like I said, it's only gonna come with the blacked out uh, components. Not gonna come chromed out. And some colors that you can only get in chrome are not gonna come in the blacked out version. For example, the Baja orange could only, you're only gonna get that in chrome. I think this is gonna pretty much cover everything. If you guys are looking for a new bike and you are in the local area, New York, or Jersey, stop by Bergen the County, Harley Davis, and ask your surgeon. Tell him I sent you and get yourself a brand new bike. After Wednesday, we're gonna be rolling in a lot more quantities and a lot more bikes, and obviously the new stuff that Harley Davis is gonna be dropping out throughout the year. And if you wanna find more information about that and be on the lookout, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so it'll notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Did you wanna plug in anything else for the dealer? Um. The 120 anniversary, I mean, we are getting a bunch of new anniversary bikes as well. So keep an eye out for that after the launch. Um, anniversary year color, which yes. we still haven't seen yet. So maybe we, we might see not. that next Wednesday. We as a dealer won't see it until you see it. So we are really excited for it because we are told that this is probably one of the best. So we're in for it, we're excited, and this is our year. Right on. So a lot to look out for guys. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna use some close-up shots of all the rest of the bikes that are on the floor. So in case you're wondering what else is on here, in here, then you're gonna see. We even have some in the back that aren't on, aren't on the floor yet. They're being prepped. They're being prepped. We got some new colors back there that are not on the floor yet. They literally just came in. So you'll get a sneak peek of that as well. Awesome. As I mean, guys, I am gonna catch you like on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.